the start of another week and it's wet again. It was just starting to dry up as well. I think it's meant to be a bit of a showery week this week. The week after looks all right, so well, we'll see. By the end of this week, we're hoping to get some animals out. That's the plan. Right, I need some dry ones. Is there any dry ones? The old man's just finished a stack, started a new one. So when that happens, you've got a lot of outside bales to come in all at the wrong time. This sort of time of year, you want nice dry ones, but anyway, can't always happen. I'm gonna pull that one off. That'll come next time. We'll get a couple of dry ones. But uh, yeah, we get these cows litters up like we do every day. And then uh, hopefully by the end of the week, we will be putting some out. I don't think it's going to be crazy wet this week. Just little, you know, April showers, like it's probably normal weather for April, really. But the fields are still pretty tender out there. So every little bit of rain we get is just not helping, but it'll dry up soon. It's been a soggy old morning. Let's see what we got in the pot. Yeah, eight mil, look at that. That's enough to annoy you. The armor's tackling a puncture on the tractor. Let's see how he's getting on. Found it? Well, I think it was just a valve mark. The, uh, oh yeah. Right, the valve was definitely leaking. Yeah. But before I put it back on, I'm just gonna go in there to the tap. Yeah. I've had it leak on them welds, mate. Yeah. Not usually on a front one mark. No. There's your leak. Oh yeah, I see it. I can hear it. Coming from both sides, that, isn't it? There's your leak, mate. So what have we got to do to seal that? Okay, push off again. That's where I've just had it off, I should imagine. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised that that ain't the leak. That, because I've just pushed it off there. Yeah. Right, uh, mind your toes, my dad. Yeah. Make sure leaking this side, we won't take this side off. Leaking all winter, it's been one of our jobs to get to, you keep forgetting, but it was sat in the shed in the way with a flat tire, so it's getting done. It's leaking all the way around the bead. You all just put some bead sealer on, Father? That should sort that out. Not leaking on the other side, just that side. A little bit round the valve, so it's had a new valve in there. That's Lynn's track there, that's a 90, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all done it. Yeah. That'll do the trick, won't it? Sometimes a bit of soap rubber will um sometimes a bit of soap rubber will do it, Matt. What's that stuff? Is it just tar, is it? What is it? Yeah, I, I actually don't know what it's based on, mate, but it's it's thin and uh, it does do a job. You were in a jam, why brush it off? Yeah. Get some paint. Paint, paint yeah. It. That'll seal it. Bang it on before your paint's dry. That'll seal it. Do the it. same thing. Even as crazy as it sounds, why brush your tyre? Yeah. Rub some grease into your tyre. Yeah. And the grease will react against the rubber and make it soft. Alright. You know, because grease will ain't good for rubber. No, okay. You know, but a smear of grease on that yeah. would react, make the rubber of your tyre soft. Yeah and then it'll seal. You get a windscreen that's leaking. Yeah. And the rubber, not the laminated ones, but the rubber ones. Yeah. Peel your rubber back, just smear a little bit of grease in there, rub it up with a bit of cloth, and that'll sometimes seal a windscreen. Oh, right. Well. That's old, old Sam uh, showed me how to get rid of bus, because all the buses were rubbers around right the windows, yeah. and the bus would leak at the rubber. Yeah. So you just whip it out. When I was a kid, you'd take, you know, grease and rubber, just have a little bit of grease, smear it round, put yeah. the window back in, and 99 times out of my roll sand would be able to seal a window like that. <laughs> Bloody hell. We've had eight mil of rain this morning, and now the sun's come out just to, uh, just to really kick you in the nads. <laughs> the grass will be growing though, because Keithy's been fertilizing like mad. We've been going over the grass, we've been going over the spring crops. 
so at least you know it's going to make the fertilizer work just been doing some little odd repairs farmers just mended a puncher on the uh on the uh tractor there the 64 9 no eight, 6290 that's had a puncture for uh, the whole of winter been having a tidy up around the back where the bales were it's been a bit of a mess around there so balls have got all nice new trim feet ricky did not like it at all tom oh, went too bad dave went too bad really and riley broke the gate stuck his head under the gate and then yeah managed to break it all so we've got to find a new gate for the uh for the cattle box go on go on this is 310 Another one born on the other side. Go on, Ingo. Go on. This is, uh, he's only a couple of days old. He's quite a big one. Go on, Ed. Go on. Go on. Shh. Go on. Go on, you. Go on, Ed. Shh, 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 shh. They're going in so we can put some food in, put some straw in. Coal beer this week to do some de -awning. got a lot to do in here go on share a lay calf obviously go on go go on go on Shh. go on go on right another one on the wrong side 375 all right babe calf laid in the sun now. this is this morning's one good car Big boy. Go on. Uh, You're running it on a what are you running it on at the minute? Six rod. And this is eight rod. That's an eight rod. Yeah. And that that'll run it. That that's uh, that runs tractors and that that will run it. Yeah. There we go. What did you and say? 16 a, pounds? Yeah, 16 quid. <laughs> and that's a little blower resistor. The one they wanted from Ernest though was 250 pounds. 16 quid. <laughs> it shows you what they're doing to us, doesn't it? Um, granted, the, uh, the Ernest Doe one was a 12 rib. This is an 8 rib. You can get the 12 rib. Uh, it is 50 pounds, but um, yeah, it's, it's overkill for what it's actually doing on the digger. So farmer will run them like that, 16 quid, blimmin' out. And buy, how many can you buy for that? You can get 10 of them. That'll run you a lifetime. It is the day after Easter Monday. It's Tuesday. And we've got a busy week ahead of us, actually. Young Keith and Charlie have headed off to do some fertilising. They're fertilising some of the grass fields in and around Alistair's farm up that way so they're doing that at the moment and we've got a grain lorry there to take he's going to be taking the last load of wheat from Alistair's so we've got some sweeping up and cleaning up to do so we're hoping this week to get a few cows out even if it's just some of the stores we are starting to run out of food but we'll be all right we've got different things we can give them if we do run out and once the cows are out your workload suddenly is uh, a lot easier keithy and charlie have been on the fertilizer so uh, they've been flat out on that i think keithy's on holiday next week so it'll just be me farmer and charlie the old man guiding me yeah. had his wisdom there yeah yeah he said one load oh, okay so i listened because i'm young one load and then we'll see what's left he said about a load and there's is that another load yeah no it hadn't. how many that 20 ton 
over the twenty ton. I wouldn't go an eight wheeler. Three quarters of a ton then. Uh, Three quarters no, of a lorry. Twenty ton there, yeah. Oh right. I can't guess it. Have you noticed? <laughs> Farmer's had the wrapper in, he's uh, got her greased up and chains oiled and tightened and yeah, another machine out the way with. He just wants to do a test so we're just going to dump this straw bale on the bed for him. He'll spin it round and make sure it wraps like it's supposed to. Overnight we had another 6 mil on top of the 8 mil the day before. <laughs> oh, when will it give up? I imagine Keithy will be back out on the fertiliser today. He's been non-stop fertilising for a week now. He's on holiday next week so he's trying to get done what he can. And then me and the farm will have to get done anything left over next week. Next week is looking like a better week. Uh, warm and sunny outlook looks like so we'll see doesn't always mean it's going to be that Linda is in every morning bright and early she likes to get a good start on things the grass is growing though one thing's for sure is the grass is going to have a good kick this year it's going to have a hell of a thing and the rain isn't all bad you know what fertilizer you put on will be washed into the ground uh, yeah, so it's not all bad, you know. Got to look at the positives as well. I think she just wants one. Every morning this little calf is out. Thinks he runs the show. You put him back in and he'll be out. He'll be back out. He's a little monkey. This morning's car, 342. Born in the right side, this, sir. <laughs> Good calf as well. Looks like a, oh, looks like a Devon to me. That, uh, what Kate, what has come apparent is that, um, Dazzler, the Devon with the broken member, you know. Christ, he's put out some calves, real good quality calves. What a shame, but anyway, we're in the middle of littering up. Old uh, Riley here, this is where he ended up when he had his feet trimmed the other day. He didn't want to go in the box and uh, he made his own way across the yard. <laughs> Broke the door, we're going to get a new door. Uh, that's on back order, but yeah, bit of a bit of a naughty boy. But he'll stay in there and he'll go out with a bunch when we're ready. What have we got to do to him before they can go out then? Uh, fly tag. Fly tags. Black leg. Black leg vaccination. Vaccination and a bolus. And a bolus is, what is that bolus? Wormer. Wormer bolus for these. Yeah. And the cows have different bolus, don't they? Uh, the, the cows have a mineral bolus. A mineral bolus. Yeah. This is just a wormer, Matty. Steady on, boys. Go on in, go on in, go on in, go on in, shh, shh, go on, <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on, go on boy, go on boy, good boy. That's the wormer, 
Yeah. So it releases it in those equal doses through the summer. Yeah. Is that a month per dose or is oh, I have so, no clue, so many uh, weeks? It does say on the thing, I think it's an all summer grazing one, yeah. Well, last of the black limbs, Winnie. Yeah. You've got to make sure you get it right in. Yeah. Uh, cough them up sometimes? Be, yeah, no, no, they won't know if you're doing it right, no. No, no. Uh, don't, don't properly they won't, Matt. No. But you have got to do it properly. Yeah. And you don't want to be ramming it in the throat to hurt them. No. And then this is just a fly tag. Keep the flies off. We'll give them uh, a certain two mil of black leg. back, that's the main thing. Yeah, there we go, that's it. That's what they've all had. He's the last one to be done. Everything in this side is bigger and uh, the man up the road who does fattening he'll come and have a look, he'll tell us whether he wants them if he doesn't want them, they'll go out with the others all summer Whoa. Boys One went back Yeah, one went back Come on boys Come on boys It's a bit windy. Woo. Yeah. Let him out. Yeah. It's still wet, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Boys. Come on up. Come on up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go and have a look. Who's going to be first to touch it? There they go. They like the gate, don't they? Every time. Aha, yes. Sort of uh, in shock for the first minute, aren't they? That's the first bunch of uh, stores out. They're going to be uh, running around that field like lunatics for the uh, end of the evening. Been a bit of a windy, horrible, miserly uh, day today. Not much in the terms of rain, but go. We really want it to dry up now. That leaves our 12 here for uh, our man up the road who fattens cattle. He will come and have a look at those. And uh, if they're good enough, he'll take them. If not, they'll run through the summer out on the grass with the others. Farmer said 49 that have gone out. Colin's coming tomorrow for dehorning over in the uh, shed behind us here. So that's going to be another another good day out there. There's uh, 30. 35 I think farmer said.
So dehorn in next video. Carl will be here. Yeah, thanks very much for watching. Hope you like that one. Make sure you like and subscribe. Merch in the description, and we'll catch you next time. Cheers.